Now, on to another college. It's time for students to start searching for off-campus housing. Citrus TV reporter Amber, Amber McAlrath is in studio to tell us how students feel about the housing hunt. Amber? On Friday, Syracuse University announced the launch of a new digital platform to help students with the off-campus housing search. The new platform is scheduled to be live by the end of November and will list available properties and information about amenities. The platform will also give students access to a message board where they can find roommates and post sublets. The university says that students help them realize that an easy to use off-campus housing platform was needed. However, the November launch might not be soon enough. I spoke with students to find out how they were feeling about the housing process and most want to sign their leases sooner rather than later. I want to live in a house with a bunch of my friends. I feel like that's the kind of college idea. In an apartment or a, a uh, house close off campus, maybe on Euclid, Comstock. Maybe an apartment, um, whichever one is cheaper actually. Syracuse students seem to know what they want for their ideal living situation. However, most students don't know all their options for off-campus living. I'm not aware of all of my housing options. Just know that I have to sign a lease really soon because everything's filling up. Most renters sign a lease one or two months before they move in. Syracuse students are signing leases now for apartments and houses they are going to live in next school year. I feel like it's kind of a race. Everybody just is looking for the best place to stay off campus. So. If you're one of the late bloomers, you're not going to be so fortunate. There are so many factors involved in finding the perfect place to live. Most students feel that there is not enough time to properly evaluate all their options. I wish we had a little bit more time because I feel like we just got back into the swing of things. We've been here, what, like three weeks, four weeks, and we're already signing leases and things like that. Popular places to live include apartment complexes such as Theory and the newly opened Marshall Street Apartments, or signing a lease for a house on streets close to campus like Comstock, Euclid, or Ackerman. Amber McElrath, Citrus TV News. Most students are feeling very uneasy about signing a lease so early. The new university platform may help students next year, but current sophomores and juniors still feel pressure to figure out their housing as soon as possible. So Amber, is there any way that SU will be supporting these students as they kind of want to live off campus? So right now we have the OCCS, which is the Office of Off-Campus and Commuter Services, and they do have a website. However, the university feels like they're not doing enough, which is why they're going to create this new digital media platform to make it easier for students to interact with off-campus housing. From what you've heard, what are the hot places, what are the best places that most students are trying to get to? So I thought it was really interesting. Um, with all the new apartment complexes opening, right. most students still want to live in houses on Euclid or Ackerman as opposed to Theory or the Marshall Street apartments. Oh, interesting. Is that just for affordability? Yeah, houses are generally cheaper and sometimes they can be a lot closer. I know Theory has a shuttle, but you still have to deal with taking that and that's kind of similar to the South Campus buses. All right, absolutely. Amber, thank you so much.